In the previous video, we had a look at arrays in JavaScript. In this video, let's take a look at objects. Let's begin with the characteristics. First, an object is an unordered collection of key value pairs. The key must either be a string or symbol data type, whereas the value can be of any data type. If you don't know what symbol is, don't worry about it for the CDs. It is something to take away as homework. Second point, to retrieve a value, you can use the corresponding key. And this can be achieved using the dot notation or bracket notation. Finally, unlike an array, an object is not an iterable. You cannot use it with a for off loop. All right, now that we understand the characteristics, let's head back to Replit and look at an example in code. The simplest way to create an object is using a pair of curly braces. Const obj is equal to empty curly braces. In between the curly braces, we can specify key value pairs. Name Bruce age 25. If we console log the object and run the code, we pretty much see the same representation in the console. To access an element, we can use the dot notation or the bracket notation. So console.log object.name and console.log object of age. Run the code and we see an error, age is not defined. To fix the error, make sure age is a string and not a variable. Rerun the code and we see the two values in the console, Bruce and 25. The bracket notation is primarily used when the object key contains spaces or hyphen. For example, if we have a third property, key three, we access the same using bracket notation. Run the code and we see the output true. This is not possible with dot notation. Now the dot or bracket notation can also be used to add key value pairs to the object. For example, object dot hobby is equal to football. Console dot log object, run the code, and we see the new key value pair, hobby football. Next, let's talk about deletion. You can delete a key value pair with the help of the delete operator. So delete obj.hobby, rerun the code, and we don't see that key value pair anymore. Finally, it is possible to add functions as values. So we add a new key, say my name, and this is set to a function. Console.log this.name. Here, this refers to the object obj. So if we invoke obj.saymyname with parentheses, run the code, we should see the corresponding log statement, Bruce. Change name to Heisenberg and we see the log changes. This is pretty much the basics of working with objects in JavaScript. Apart from what we have seen here, you have methods like dot keys, dot values, and dot entries, which return an array of all the keys the values 
and key value pairs present in an object respectively. I want you to pause for a minute, Google these methods and understand them better with an example. Alright, if you're done with that task, let's discuss the worst case time complexity of some of these operations. Since an object is a collection of key value pairs, if you want to insert or remove a new key value pair, the time complexity is constant. No matter how many properties exist in an object, it takes the same amount of time to insert or delete a key value pair. If you want to access a value given a key, the time complexity is once again constant. Accessing object.name does not depend on other properties present in the object. However, if you want to search for a value in an object, the time complexity is linear. To search for a value, in the worst case scenario, you might have to search all the properties present in that object. Finally, object.keys which returns an array of all the keys, object.values which returns an array of all the values in an object, and object.entries all have linear time complexity. Again, I can't stress enough how important it is to remember the worst case time complexity for basic operations. You will use them a lot and misunderstanding the time complexity can lead you to writing code that suffers in terms of performance. All right, that is pretty much the basics of working with objects in JavaScript. In the next video, let's take a look at the set data structure, which was introduced in ES 2015. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.